Hey guys, welcome back to Mystical Mermaid. I'm in a happy mood and I wanted to come through and see um, what kind of reading week you get in, you guys. I wanna apologize, I've been really busy with personal readings and school and life, so I've been kind of behind, but I'm trying to get these readings out here. Also, if you want a personal reading, please hit me up on Taymor Love, that's my Twitter, T-A-Y-M-O-R, love, or Mystical Mermaid Light on Instagram. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna have those links below in the description, so check that out. Also, remember to subscribe and like and comment to this channel. I'm trying to, you know, get those views up, get the subscribers up so I can consistently do this for you guys, okay? So, this reading is, what's the tea? Spill the tea, what do you need to know right now? What's happening right now, what's coming, all right? So, I have some really cool decks I wanna show you guys, like, amazing decks. Um. This one, uh, so gorgeous. I forgot their names. I need to look at the boxes. But anyways, I'm more of a visual person. I look at artwork. I like to draw you guys. So I love art. So I'm going to start with PAL 1 and PAL 2. Let me see. Do I want to choose something for you guys to pick from? We could. Okay, so PAL 1 fluorite. I forgot what this one is. But this is Smoky Aura Quartz, I believe. So PAL 1 with fluorite. Two Smoky Aura Quartz. And let's see, pal three with pal three with this selenite. All right, pal one fluorite, pal two smoky aura quartz, pal three selenite. So feel free to choose, and we're gonna jump into this reading. Okay, let's go. All right, pal one, what do you need to know? What's popping? What's happening, Captain? Going within for balance, already I'm seeing that. Okay, you guys. Holy Spirit, please use me as a divine channel for the most purest, holy love and light. I'm gonna give clear, accurate messages to all who watch this video. How one, what do you need to know? One card at a time, please, Holy Spirit. Okay, this is one here. The Emperor, leadership. Okay. One more, one more. The hermit came right back out, going within, okay. Going within for balance, you guys. Taking charge of your alone time. One card, give me one card. There is a renewal though. Bringing order. You guys might be going through a rebirth here. We have the death card. Virgo, Scorpio. Taurus and Aries is also what I'm hearing. There's a transformation in order for you to have a new beginning. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands, which represents challenges and courage. Being courageous. Yeah, you guys are going within because there's an awakening happening, a transformation, an awakening. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it right there. You guys are going within because there's a challenge. You guys are overcoming challenges. My nose is getting real itchy. So if you guys' nose gets itchy like that, out of like nowhere, I'm getting like bewitched. Intuition, going within spiritually. Tapping in, that might be you guys tapping into some type of gift. Third eye chakra, maybe even your crown chakra too, you guys. What else do we have? Give me one card, Holy Spirit. There's a new beginning happening for you guys. Journey, sacral chakra, red average. Red adventuring journey to enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome. To enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome. She's on a journey. To enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome. So you guys may also be connecting with your sacral chakra. Let's get one more of these for you. There's an awakening happening for you guys. You guys will be stepping more into your power, but I feel like you guys need to bring order to your spiritual life. What do we have here? Manifestation. Manifestation is the fruition of confidence and belief. Topaz, solar, solar plexus chakra. So believing in yourself, manifesting. You guys are going to be coming out of this really powerful. I'm hearing, oh my gosh, why do I get these songs? I just heard, um, boss say, I'm the first girl to scream on the track. I, I something, I something, I brought all the girls to the yard. That's right. I'm the one who's tattooed on his arm. I'm boss say, Khalees. Letting go, sacral chakra, carnelian. Letting go is not giving up. Sometimes it is a first step towards success. So you guys are letting go of things that don't serve you. You're moving forward. I'm hearing, I'm hearing you're, you're accepting challenges as they come. You're not fighting the flow. 
not fighting the flow. You're going with the flow, the ebb and flow. Take a step back. See, your angels are wanting you guys to retreat. Hermit mode, retreat. It's okay. It's okay, you're so powerful. You need some time though, you need some time. Time to raise your vibration. Take a step back to raise your vibration. You're going through a transformation. This death card here is for the transformation. No, say no to others. Set healthy boundaries. Say no to others' demands on your time, your energy, your resources. Step back. Say no. Let go. We have no and we have let go. So let go. Say no. This is an inner journey. And you guys are going to come out of this very powerful. Remember, we have that courage, right? This is strength and guidance. You guys are being guided and your angels are wanting you to be strong. Because you guys are going to come out of this very powerful. You're going to manifest something that you really want after this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this is like a short little pause. I'm hearing um, a commercial break. This is like a commercial break in your life. Like, okay, this is a time for you to go through. Um, go, it's like a shadow energy. Like there's some healing that's going to happen, some transforming that's going to happen. And they're saying that your power hasn't been taken from you. You're just shifting gears. You're, you're stepping into an even stronger, higher level of power. Whoa. Mother Mary. So there may need, oh, there may be a need to connect with the feminine energies around you. We do have the emperor here. So connecting and bringing balance to feminine energies and masculine energies. Some of you guys might have a connection with Mother Mary. Share your wisdom. Emperor energy. I don't know why they're telling me that. The emperor energy with the hermit card here. That's the sharing of the wisdom. Share your wisdom. So you guys might come out of this with some type of knowledge, enlightenment that you might share with friends. Trustworthy friends. Self-reflection. That's the hermit mode. You guys are going within and looking at all you've gone through. to Everything that's put you in this emperor position. Everything that you've had to go through. Everything that you've had to let go of. Everything that you, that you still are releasing and healing from. Shielding. Your angels want you to protect your energy field. You might want to work with Archangel Michael. Let's get an angel number for you guys. I am protected. See, you guys might want to work with Archangel Michael. 444. Four, four. Very powerful here. Protect. I'm hearing learning about your aura for <laughs> learning about your aura field, your energy fields. Trust your journey. You guys on that journey. How many cards do you have? Journey. Don't stop believing. Journey. You guys want to listen to that. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Manifestation, right? Trust your journey. Trust the way your life unfolds. And trust that you are where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected. And this death card could also represent ancestors. Specifically for some of you guys, this could be a feminine energy like a mother, grandmother, or great-grandmother that could be watching over you. And for some, it could be a masculine energy too with the emperor here. It could be like a father figure, grandfather figure. 24, I am generous. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. That is the emperor, the protector, the nurturer, and the provider all at once. So this is connecting with the maternal and paternal energies within your bloodline. Um, and even here, your living ancestors, but there's a connection here. It's like, you guys might wanna watch, um, well, it doesn't kinda, it kinda relates, but it kinda doesn't. It's like a coming of age kind of energy of, looking reflecting at your parents reflecting at your on your upbringing and how you were brought up and realizing that you one day may have kids or you one day may get older and you're kind of reflecting back to your parents so for some of you guys this is inner child healing this is healing the family dynamics within your parents or one specific parent or parents that have passed away or grandparents looking at the generational patterns that have you know occurred over the years but i was giving the movie at astra because um in that movie, I don't want to give away the movie, but there, you know, it, the, the character, he has to come to terms with something with his father. And so there's an ultimate healing and letting go, which you guys are, you guys have here in this reading. So you guys might want to go watch that movie. It's really good. Brad Pitt did really good. And so did Tommy Lee Jones. So you guys need to go watch that movie. I am generous. Okay. I am protected. I am generous. Let's see what else you guys have. And speaking of the moon, if you get, if you've heard of the movie, if you get it, it's like they, he's going into outer space. So there's an energy of, oh, maybe you guys are tapping into higher dimensions, literally, like meditation and going to different dimensions. 
So we have 16. You have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. You have a special ability to read into other people's feelings, a wisdom seeker, and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others. I am perceptive, and this breaks down to number seven. Um, what's interesting here, you have six, seven, so you are making progress, but you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths. This here is making me think of the movie I just shared with you um, because he had to uncover a, a, an important truth. But with the friendship card that we had at the bottom of the deck, you guys will be going within for some type of knowledge. You're going in, you're going to receive some type of knowledge, and then you're going to come back out and you're going to share it. Okay? And then we have 10, I am ingenious. And it says, you have great leadership skills. Your mind is sharp and allows you to dream up ingenious ideas and organize all the details and direct others how to carry things out. So you guys are leaders, especially with the emperor here. It's just time for you guys to go within spiritually, take care of yourself, your own well-being, do your own healing so that you can take what you've learned and share it with others to prepare it and give it to others. Also, you hear that? Airplane take off it's like you're going you're going to higher dimensions you're raising your vibration you're literally taking off and you're going to reach new heights new levels new devils though so protect your energy work with archangel michael know that you are protected pay attention to the numbers you see you might be connecting with the moon and different planets learning about different planets some of you guys might be actually learning about different planets is what i'm hearing um but you guys will be, come out of this powerful manifestors because you're going to be raising your vibration but for now it's time to take a step back it's time to say no to things that don't serve you. It's time to gain enlightenment. You're transforming. There will be a new beginning, okay? You will be coming out of this with creative ideas, a lot of beautiful things coming coming to you. I'm hearing when you give, you'll receive, okay? So equal give and take, equal balance, it's karma. Whatever energy you put out there, you'll get back, all right? So that's what I have for you guys for Pal 1. Let's jump into Pal 2. I hope that was able to help you guys. If you like that, Please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I know that was a short one, but look, what's popping out again if you're still here with me? Friendships, see? Trustworthy friendships. And know that you are strong and being guided, but I, ah, friendship and union. See? Can't make that up. Okay. But anyways, let's go <laughs> how to, um, let me hurry up and put these cards up if you're still hanging with me. And it's okay if you guys want to watch multiple videos. It's all good. Why did I say multiple videos? I meant multiple decks, like multiple choices. But maybe there's a video you guys need to see. Hmm. All right. Pal 2. Let's get to it, Pal 2. Pal 2, you had the Smoky Oracords. What's happening, Captain? Let's see. What does Pal 2 need to know, Holy Spirit? New energy. New energy. Whoa. The chariot. Success. Confidence. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? It says success, journey, progress. Okay. New energy. New energy. Hold on just a second, you guys. Felt the need to change the energy a bit some frequency two of cups i'm glad i did mm -hmm. two of cups happening here two partnerships relationships gathering together connections oh ace of cups love on the table what y'all happening why did i say it like that what y'all happening what the heck is that is somebody southern country over here i don't know what's happening what what what's what y'all doing? This is weird. I don't know why they want me to pull one more. I only pull three for pal one. Let's see. Whoa, I don't want to take this. Give me one. That's so weird. Ten of Wands, burden, demands, overload, releasing burdens, going towards success, standing strong and resilient, support. Support with the nine of wands. You guys are being supported. That's strange. Some of you guys might have um, ancestors that are from the south. I don't know why I'm hearing um, Jill Scott's um, fam family. Um, is it family reunion? She has a song um, where there it's like a family. Yeah, it's family reunion. 
Queen of Swords, ambition, true strength, ambition, truth, strength. Yeah, it just says that over and over on the card. So there is some type of strength that's needed here. You guys are connecting with trustworthy people. It's just what I'm getting. Connecting with trustworthy people, partnerships, needing to get more rest, recovery. Maybe you guys are needing to reach out to um, trustworthy people, whether it's family, friends, or a partner um, for support. Yeah, so that you can heal. Hermit mode, so that you can heal from something. It's not serious. It's just the energy of allow other people to, to hold the burden for you. Family. See, it's something with a family reunion. For some of you guys, this is romance. For some of you, this is connecting with a, a friend, a partner, a lover, um, family member, sister, cousin, auntie, mama, brother, uncle, whomever, dad. Um, so, you know, rely on for support. And I'm not getting that there's anything bad here. It's just that there's something with connecting with your family tree. I feel like some of you guys might be connecting with your family tree. Bringing balance and order to your family. Familial healing. Nine of cups. Yes. Familial healing. Optimism. Happiness. Yeah, listen to that Joe Scott song. Family reunion. There's something very positive here happening for you guys when it comes to your family. I feel like there's going to be more gatherings, more connecting. Maybe some more heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Speaking your truth. Destiny. Third eye shocker, follow your instincts, they lead to the truth. Fluorite. So, yeah, I'm getting like soul tribe, soul family, how we, they say we choose what parents we, we, um, we have, but who knows how true that is. But it's like soul contracts. I'm getting somehow the Akashic Record soul contracts with your soul tribe that is also connected to your family tree. We have creation, yeah, creation. It's like the creation of life. Is that a movie? I can't remember. But I'm seeing the family tree, you guys. So there's something here with the family tree. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Sacral chakra, fire a gate. Some of you guys might be creating your own family with the sacral chakra here. Creation. I wouldn't, be, oh, the empress did try to come out. Okay, so you guys might be starting a family. Trust, third eye chakra. Or someone may be um, starting a family, like you may find out that one of your siblings or a cousin or someone in your family or close to you is pregnant or someone um, is expecting. Trust your intuition. It is in contact with a higher source of knowledge. Trust. This could also be you guys connecting with um, passed on ancestors, kind of like Pal One. At the bottom of the deck, grounding. Yeah, root chakra energy, the root of the tree. Sink your roots deep, connect them to the heart of the earth. Red Jasper. Yeah, so you guys want to work, if you guys start seeing a lot of symbols with the tree of life, um, maybe even for some of you guys, the flower of life, but I'm getting more of the tree of life. We have two trees here. You see that? It's like this tree lost its, its you know, well, it didn't really lose it, but it's regrowing its leaves, right? And this one's in full bloom. We also have these trees in the background. So it's like some type of, lo I'm hearing loyalty loyalty this is family this is connecting with family this is connecting with ancestors healing with ancestors expressing love it's that simple you know readings don't have to be that deep what it, what they're saying is that rely on ancestors rely on trustworthy family members and family isn't always blood related you know sometimes family are just our soul family our soul tribe rely on trustworthy people for support and love you don't have to do it all alone when you're, when you're feeling like the bag lady, Erica Badu, when you're feeling overwhelmed and tired, call on someone for, for trust, for help, send love, right? Um, call on someone for support. We have physical outlet. So some of you guys are needing to connect with dancing, yoga. I'm hearing Pilates for some of you guys. Some of you guys is martial arts. Some of you guys are needing to connect with dance, creating via dance, connecting with your ancestors via dance. Remember I said the South? That's making me think of African ancestors. Connecting with your ancestors via um, dance. Channeling via dance. Some of you guys need to look at that. If you have family in Louisiana, you need to look at that. Resting. Some of you guys might actually be getting, how one had shielding too. Might want to shield and protect your energy. You guys might have a connection with Pal One, but some of you guys might actually be receiving messages from passed on ancestors in your bloodline. They want you to do research on where you come from. What is this? Acceptance. Accept where you come from. Accept who you are. Yeah, I am getting that you guys, some of you guys, your ancestors want you to do research on your family tree. So this could be like 
you it could be something as simple as i'm doing ancestry dna let me connect our family tree but there's something about your family tr tree acceptance and you are understood acceptance and you're under, understood they want you to know that you are accepted for who you are so within your family your ancestors are letting you know hey we accept you for who you are acceptance of who you truly are your destiny believing in yourself you are not alone see there is an ancestor that are that's with you guys a passed on ancestor and also they're letting you know you have trustworthy people around you that that the angels and your ancestors have put into your life right now you are not alone. That's my, that's my, uh, my ancestors right next to me car. <laughs> like, okay, I'm not alone. Like when you have those times when you go through something and you're like, man, I don't know what's happening. I feel so alone right now. When you see this card with that candle light, you might want to light a white candle for your ancestors. There is a strong connection here with the family tree. And for some of you guys, this is Louisiana. I have a connection with Louisiana. Um, but there could be, it could be somewhere else. But I am getting something down south or even like Texas country. There's something southern or country. Southern country. I don't know why I keep hearing it just like that. Okay, so I'm just sharing with you guys the way I'm hearing it. But we also have Archangel Michael here with protection. Okay. And we also have time to create, which is beautiful because we have the creation card. So your ancestors are wanting you to create, whether this is via physical outlet like dance or whether this is actual painting. They want you to use your solar and sacral plexus chakras to create something. Root. Rooted energy. It's going to help... Oh, they want you to free stagnant energy. They also want you to bring in a balance of rest. Make sure you're in balance, you guys. Make sure you're in balance. But you guys have some type of success coming your way very soon. Um, good partnerships. Your angels want you to love yourself more. They want you to forgive others and forgive yourself. Don't be afraid to apologize. You guys might actually be receiving some type of apology from someone soon with the Ace of Cups here. There could be an offer. Ten of Wands, this person may be nervous to come towards you, but they've done some self-reflecting. This could be a family member or a friend. They're saying you already know. Someone's coming through to apologize. So that you, maybe this could even be someone who's wanting to work with you again, to you know be with you again, um, have some type of success with you guardian angel this is my other card where it's like okay a passed on person is watching over you you guys have like an ancestor here strongly could be queen of swords libra gemini aquarius energy who's here or who's just wanting to speak with you there's a feminine presence that's here that's wanting to connect with you guys look at that an angel wanting to help you guardian angel you are not alone they're helping you they want you to um fr friendship union Pal one had this card too. Friendship and union. Connect with others. Two of cups. Friendship and unions coming together. So it could be romantic unions. You guys are also coming in, you know, coming into a, a certain, um, I'm hearing a time frame in your life where you're going to be connecting more with soul family, soul tribe, people who relate with you, people who have gone through things, you know, similar things that you've gone through. Connecting. Connecting with people who are like-minded. So once again, this could be within your bloodline, but this could be outside of your bloodline as well. But we have friendships and union. And I feel like this guardian angel, this ancestor is the one who's bringing these people into your life. Trustworthy people. It's all destined. It's destined. They want you to trust. Let's see. And there could be some past energies coming through. If you don't want it, that's cool. Self-acceptance. Again, acceptance. You are loved. You are worthy of being loved. You are worthy of having the right people in your life. Never settle. Look at that. Accept yourself. Love yourself. You are understood. You are worthy of the right partnership. Speak your truth. Let go of any burdens or worries. You will be successful. Things are moving forward for you. But use some type of physical activity like working out or dancing to either channel your ancestors or to manifest or to just release energy. That's how you're gonna release stagnant energy. They want you to um, ground your energy field in nature, spend time in nature near trees, connecting with trees. Tree pose could help with yoga, but um, I don't know why I'm seeing a scene from Superstar where she's kissing the tree. <laughs> so some of you guys might wanna to talk to trees, but this is giving me, giving me some Marie Laveau energy. Marie Laveau was kind of, not to scare you guys, because I know some people get all, get their panties in a bunch. Um, Marie Laveau, uh, rumor has it she was um, great with connecting with herbs and um, 
I'm not sure how true this story is, but I had heard that she was just, I guess, channeled some type of knowledge about different herbs. Um, she knew what to use and some people talk to plants. Some people talk to different, you know, trees and flowers and um, I'm getting old trees like willow trees and um, so there could be a connection. Remember I said Louisiana, there could be a connection with Louisiana. I actually have an oracle deck that's a Louisiana oracle deck, I believe. I think it's called Louisiana oracle deck or New Orleans oracle deck and I wish I had had it right now for this reading because this, this is powerful. It makes me think of that but your angels are saying that this is all a part of the sacred plan, which goes right along with the destiny. Okay, this is all about a part of your sacred plan. Some of you guys just need to connect with where your ancestors came from, going back to where your ancestors were. Maybe just to visit for vacation, just to visit the land, to speak to the land, maybe leave an offering for your ancestors in the land. Okay, um, yeah, the chariot. Yes, yeah, some of you guys might actually need to visit where your ancestors came from or celebrate them somehow or put something that's from their, their land at your altar. Okay, so even if you know, like if you're African, well, if you're black and you know what African tribe your people come from, because, you know, some of us don't be knowing. And if you're African, you know, celebrating that tribe, if you're Native American or indigenous of any kind, leaving something at your altar for your, your indigenous peoples. Um, you know, if you're Caucasian and you know your ancestors are from Ireland, Scotland or Wales, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think wherever else, um, you know, leaving something there. You know, that's what I'm saying. You know, if if you're indigenous, Taino, all of that. Put all of that on your your ancestor altar or table to honor them, um, to let them know that you you you're respective of them. It's like a respect, like a accepting acknowledgement of them. Four of Swords rest. Like I said, you guys might be receiving some type of um, message from this guardian angel, some type of love, maybe even a hug or a touch or visitation from an ancestor in your dreams, okay? And this is a part of the sacred plan. They are connecting with you. They are communicating with you. Whoa, 555, five, five. I am optimistic. Change is for the better, right? Destined changes. A major shift is about to come into your life. Experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. Destiny, sacred plan. You guys are shifting gears. Your pathway is changing. And it's all a part of the divine plan rest up it's about to get good that's what i just heard it's like when someone gets a, a good night's sleep before they go on a, a road trip that's the energy i'm getting we have i oh we have i am successful eight hot oh i dropped that like hot potato hot potato i don't know why they just told me that your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other you are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions H representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. Creation is here, the infinite loop of creation. When one soul is born, another leaves. Continuously, this cycle goes on and on and on, right? You may even be your ancestors. Let's see. I am stable for they're helping you with your stability is what I'm hearing. We have the four swords here. They want you to be stable and secure. Ground your energy. Make sure you're staying rooted. Connect with nature. Walk barefoot near water in sand or in earth we have your oh i just heard you're being guided you bring stability and rationality to any situation you are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend partner and colleague so people are going to start depending on you looking up to you whether you know this or not we have the two of cups so there's something with unions and partnerships and friendships i am a leader 28, 10, 10, completion. In an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team toward achievement. So working with a group of people, soul family, even family or friendships, unions, maybe even starting your own family. So that's what I have for you, pal two. We're gonna move to pal three. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if it resonated. Let me know how you feel. All right, pal three with the selenite. All right, pal three peeps. We're going to get some new energy in here for you. Holy Spirit. 
Spirit, what does pal three need to know for their highest good? Can we get some new energy in here? New energy, please. Another pal had this song, Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. Keep hearing it. Knight of Cups. It says, Prospect, Pride, Quest, Proposal. Oh, I'm hearing, what is that song? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I have the tiger. I have the tiger. <laughs> Eye of the tiger, right? Eight of cups. You guys are moving away from something to go to something better. This is a forward movement, leaving the past behind to go to something better. I mean, the past doesn't have to be bad. It's just that you're not settling. So you're you're like, yeah, that was good, but we're moving here. To the left, to the left, Beyonce. Put it in the box to the left. It's like I'm aiming over here going west some of you guys could be going why did they say that west going west okay one card please yeah there's forward movement for you guys towards the water towards the water some of you guys are going towards water whether this is a vacation or traveling Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone who's very confident and passionate, creative. It says right here, creativity, leader, focus. Laser focus, eye of the tiger. Rising up back on the street. What did he say? Took my shots, took my chances. Something like that. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Reliable, visionary, vision, focus. Third eye, a lot of third eye energy. Eye of the tiger, generous. You guys are taking off and moving forward. You're leaving behind what doesn't serve you. You're going towards your passions. You're going to bring your creative, I'm hearing your creativity, your creative ideas into reality. It's like no more just visioning and thinking and keeping it all up here in this heavy, dreamy Piscean energy. No, you're taking that and you're putting it into reality. You're grounding it like an earth sign. So you guys are going to be moving forward, leaving whatever has been blocking you or keeping you kind of stagnant in the past. You're just going towards something better overall, okay? What do you have here? The only illusion is separation. Chakra balance, unity. Unity, I'm hearing um, U-N-I-T-Y, Queen Latifah, helping others. <laughs> this is giving me that vibe, U-N-I-T-Y. Standing up for others, helping others, partnering up with others. Blue Lace of Gate, Amethyst, New Jade. Whoa, what is this? Journey. Didn't I say Don't Stop Believing by Journey? Okay, so to enjoy the journey, let go of the outcome. Red Adventure, Sacral Chakra. So you guys are going on a journey as well. One card. Manifestation. You guys have a connection with Pal One. Manifestations of fruition of confidence and belief. Topaz, Solar Plexus Chakra. But I want to reshuffle. I want to make sure that we get something new here. What's happening? One card, please. The sun moving towards. I'm hearing. I want to soak up the sun, Cheryl. Cheryl Crow, moving towards the sun. We have creation. Pal two had this. Could connect. It says the flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. Sacral chakra fire a gate. Some of you guys might be going through a rebirth. Oh, rebirth, regeneration. The octopus. When the octopus is um when their tentacles, when their limbs are are cut off, doesn't it grow back? Am I am I? I I may be wrong. I don't know if that's true, but I think they go through or they can regrow it, regenerate. I don't know. I might be wrong, but they're creepy, creepy creatures, but very, um, very magnificent, very magical. We have Sean. They're, they're very powerful, uh, nature. I don't, maybe there's a connection with animals here. I don't know. But we have Sean. You are made of stardust, so keep sparkling. Solar plexus chakra, mukite. So you're made of stars dust. You have this star being energy shining bright like the sun. Shine bright like a diamond. Um, Rihanna, you guys might want to listen to that song. Yeah. Didn't see you write that? See ya? I'm not sure. But anyways, at the bottom of the deck, you have forgiveness, okay? Heart chakra, you'll find freedom and forgiveness, forgiving others. Malachite, shine bright. You're on a journey. You, some of you guys might be on a journey to stardom. I don't know why I just heard that. Or to some type of success or fame. 
multitasking, leaving things behind that aren't serving you. It's like, I have all this on my plate, but I'm going to leave this behind because it no longer serves me anymore. Yes, stardom, fame, success. So this is a pal that's going through, going towards some type of success. Queen of Wands energy seen as someone who's very sensual, sexy, alluring. But then we have no. This is weird. We have yes and no. Two choices. You have two pathways to take. Yes or no. That's interesting. They want you to expect miracles. Let's let's reshuffle. That's some interesting energy. Yes, no. It's up to you. That's what I just heard. It's up to you. If you think you, you're not going to make it, if you're like, oh, I, I can never, then you're not. If you believe in yourself and you know you're going to make it, you're going to make it. And you're angelic. You have angelic protection. I'm hearing your angelic team is helping you. In general, Archangel Michael energy. Again, armor. See this armor here? You're being protected. They're guarding you. They're protecting you. They're helping you to move forward. It's like they want you to stand in your power. Put on your armor. Move forward. Star, be, star being. Star being. I'm hearing. Um, I'm seeing. I'm actually seeing a vision of David Bowie. Star seed. Yeah. Divine timing is happening in your life right now. Divine timing. Things will occur in divine timing. You're moving forward though. Just know that whatever you're working on, it's going to happen in divine timing. Raise your vibration. Another pal had this card. Raise your vibration. Move forward. Move towards more positive energy. Move towards the light. We have this no card again. You guys might need to say no to someone. Intuition and downloads are coming in for you guys. A connection to source. Especially when you raise your vibration. Yeah, you guys, I'm getting with this multitasking, there could be someone that you're needing to say no to or something you're needing to take, say no to so that you can move forward, right? Because maybe you're doing all the work. It needs to be reciprocated. That's what I just heard. Maybe that's why the forgiveness card is here. <laughs> forgiveness and understanding. I was referring to this card and this one came out. Forgiveness and understanding. You guys need to focus more on self-love. Your angels aren't playing with you. They're like, hey, don't be afraid to tell people no. Another pal needed to know that as well. So self-love, you can only love others as much as you love yourself. You can only love others as much as you love yourself. And we have rose quartz. You guys want to work with rose quartz. You guys want to work with malachite. Some of you guys want to work with jade. You guys are forgiving. Moving forward, it's like, yeah, I forgive you. I just can't say yes, you know, like, and I'm not going to apologize or feel sorry for the fact that I, I'm not, I can't, I can't please everyone. I just can't. That's what I'm getting. I just, I can't. This is a solo journey for some of you guys. You are special, very unique. Star being, remember I said David Bowie? Star being energy, shine bright like a diamond. 